Hello, everyone. It's Mo Crossing, and we're finally starting a brand new project. Yeah, a brand new one. So new, in fact, that I didn't even put the disc in. <laughs> That's opening the disc. That's the disc coming out. And this vinyl noise. Is the disc going in? If you could hear that, that was the the Wii sucking the disc in. <clears throat> this is me grabbing the Wii remote and shaking it. And this is the disc not reading because I put the disc in wrong. That's the disc ejecting. That's the disc being flipped over and put in the right way. Is it actually 4.31? No, it is 3.02 p.m. And that is the disc finally reading. I bet you all can already guess what I'm doing now. The Metroid Prime bonus video. Where the, fi where the hell the final missile expansion was. That's exactly what we're doing. And now this is me closing the wrist strap. I don't know if you heard that, but I closed the wrist, uh, wrist strap just then. Because I wanted to. This is the Wii telling me the controls that I already know. This is me going to stop narrating everything by saying this is me in front of it. This is something I never understood what this is. It's like the inside of the arm cannon. This is Metro Prime Trilogy. Trilogy. Wait, we've already played this before. I have the nunchuck attached. This is the nunchuck. That's my practice game. This is the game we played on. This is my original game. Apparently, I was playing Norian, not in veteran. Alright, now, play single player. <gasps> We're playing Metroid Prime 2 Echoes! We're gonna play on Veteran, because again, as you have may or may not have noticed, I like to play everything on the hardest possible difficulty. Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Loading. So, guess what? It's been one year since... Uh, since Metroid Prime 1 started, and now we're starting Metroid Prime 2 on the exact same day of Sunday, March 25th. Well, today's the 24th when I'm recording this. Eight days ago, contact with Galactic Federation Trooper Squad Bravo was lost. Contract agreement. Locate Federation Troopers and render assistance. I'm not using my epic voice. Data confirmation. The last transmission was received from a rogue planet located in the Dasher region called Aether. Why is this planet rogue? Uploading last known coordinates now. Loading data. I'm not going to read everything on screen. There's the planet. <clears throat> Sorry, I just burped. NCS style, just burp right into the mic.
Something always goes wrong. <laughs> Something always bad. <laughs> Something bad always happens when we land on these planets. God, the ship is ugly. I swear to God, this is a little, my least favorite Metroid ship. I enjoy the third game's ship the best. Twirl, twirl, twirl. And there's Samus for Metroid Prime 2. Alright, a bit about this game. There's some stuff different. Let me just make sure I can steer. There's some stuff different with this game. Of course, if you're playing... Um, if you're playing on your a good old-fashioned Wii, everything is still the same controls. Uh, the scan visor now works differently with blue things being like unimportant. Red things I think are important. And green things are things that you've already scanned. And there's your first thing that you should always scan is Samus's gunship. Uh, so we are here on this strange alien planet that we l know little about. This doesn't start off like the first Metroid Prime with the little prologue of sorts. We just get thrown right to the planet, so we must move on. Just shoot the centerpiece of these webs uh, and hope not to find giant spiders. I believe this is the one where doors are all scans. No, this isn't it. I don't know why, but this only looked stretched out. I think it's this door. It looks a bit stretched out. These are the, uh, this is the tunnel of uvulas. You don't scan them. They're not a life form, apparently. Uh, we can't go through here. This door is big and we can't go through there yet. So, when you can't go through the door, you jump down the big creepy web-filled hole into this room. Oh man, things are looking a bit more spacey, I guess, I don't know. Ah, sorry, my Wii remote. I'm trying to be relaxed. Pesticide. These are crates. There's nothing in these crates. Again, of really slow starting. Uh, I believe you can scan this. This is a Mark VI gate armored defense system. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on, controls. This is a gate. <laughs> we can't go by. Oh wait, we can hack there. <laughs> and you have to shoot the gate to open it. gate seems like it's uh, kind of crappily made. Uh, here's a pile of corpses. <laughs> you don't scan the corpse pile. Uh, this is, I think it's nothing. I don't think you need to scan this. Convert car uh, modified for security purposes. Oh look, we probably wouldn't have noticed those controls if I didn't look to the side. Back to combat visor, and it appears as if we're in some kind of base. Ooh. Uh, let's see. I think we need to scan this. No. Are any of these important? Security gate report is all like that background information if you want it. God, can I please get this working? Now this game does have a lot of stuff that's like one-time scans. Is this actually a scan? No. Okay. Uh, there are a lot of scans that don't go in your logbook, and there are a lot of one-time scans, and that took 
10 minutes. <sighs> Alright, but scan this. Map station is no longer a scannable item. But let's look at the new map station. Look, you no longer just stick your hand in a thing and get maps. You tap, you type buttons. Now, I haven't really talk, talked a lot about this game at all. Uh, this is going to be a long video because it's the first one. I'd like to get to the cool part, but uh, the f uh, I hate how I have to elevate my hand to play Wii the way I'm set up in here. Oh my god, those are dangling dead dudes! Alright. Switch your scan visor, and you're gonna want to scan these. Say worker splinter. And I scan a tunnel prowler. Hang on. Two. No. Two. Log book creatures. Either ground tunnel prowlers. Oh. Oh, okay, I, I get it. It's not like a, it's not a creature. It's a category. Yeah, everything is divided up really heavily into subcategories. And this will tell you how all these guys died. But if you look up, there's a thing we want to shoot that drops a dead guy at us, and we can go into this room. Oh, this dude is red. Scanning him, and you will find Gunnery Sergeant C. B. Be at, be at, be, I don't know, but it's a lore. Galactic Federation Marine Corps, personal log, Gunnery Sergeant C. Bennett. <laughs> Data transferred to your logbook for further review. Um, and we shall read this because it is a lore entry. There's something wrong with the lock systems in this section. They failed twice, locking us out until someone came along to let us in. If it happens again while well, we're playing bait for those things, well, at least we'll go out fighting instead of hiding in the control area. Alright, so something happened to... Oh, you are... Something appears to have happened to the Federation troopers. What does this guy have to say? This is... This is SPC, I don't know what SPC stands for. Uh, SPC, uh, it's not private first one, it says PFC. <laughs> uh, this is somebody. Uh, I don't like this plan. The hive is a small, this hive is a small portion of a large network. There may be a dozen hive systems like this across the planet, and they may all be linked. Destroying this one may buy us time, but it may also provoke the other hives into attacking. Okay, so it's something to do with something that's a hive dwelling thing. Man, that C button looks really stretched out. <coughs> just lost a ton of, just lost a few frames. I believe that's just, oh, that's just a worker splinter. And now we get to use the morph ball for the first time. I'll pursue you. And let's scan these corpses. Is right, that's a pile of all right? Those dead guys don't have anything. All right. So I guess there's nothing to do but go in the hole. Telling us how to drop morph ball bombs at this point. Uh, there are just some more corpses in here. There's a crap load of corpses all over this stupid <laughs> tunnel-y, tunnel-y hive cave thing. Uh, scan this, and this is a bomb slot. Because apparently, when you generate power, they plan for this stuff. And this is going to bring power through the tunnel all the way to that dude. And he's dead. Power restore to gate system. It's time to fight our first enemy. Well, yep. Here we go. <laughs> That's the noise these guys are making. Alright, so let us scan these very strange uh, undead type enemies. Dark Trooper. 
Deceased giant soldier. Bioscan is terminated life sign and the presence of an unknown biomass. Something's controlling these corpses. Like the T virus. No, it's not the T virus. I've already denied my own joke. Rolling on through the tunnel, and more corpses are getting up. The only ones that get up are the non, uh, the ones that didn't have lore. So if you miss those lores, you still have a chance to get them. But if you're playing along with me, which you should be, then there's absolutely no chance you've missed any lore. Uh, and I just picked up the uh, first energy refill. I think there's you can get stuff from these crates. Oddly enough, we only start with five missiles in this game. Uh, nope, I can't do a trick shot. I was asking, the door lock? No. Only things in red. And this is gonna... <laughs> pull that back to reveal more zombie troopers! <laughs> yeah. just want to use charge shots on these guys to take them out real quickly. Oh, uh, we shall scan this. Oh, these aren't, these aren't, uh, logbook entries like they were in the first game either. Alright, we're coming up on a cutscene and a save station. And we are at 16 mi 17 minutes, so I guess we're at whichever one we get to first. I believe the cutscene is right through here. Yeah, this is. So, I'm going to try to do this really, like, really skillfully. No, I'm, I'm going to end this right here. We'll find out what's in that room. I was going to do like some cool thing where I cut in, but then I remember I can't pause during cutscenes in this game. So, thank you for watching part one of Let's Play Metroid Prime. In the next episode, we will find out what's in that room.